Well, hey there. Welcome to the Paw Paw Chronicles and more with Jim. Well, today what I'm doing is I'm coming out here to some of the paw paws that are uh, covered with shade cloth and uh, getting ready for spring. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about paw paws and sunlight. Now, a paw paw is an understory tree. That it is. But they will live and thrive in sunlight. This particular tree, incidentally, is a KSU Benson. And I left it in here. Uh, uh, last year I planted it uh, and you see it's done very well but now it's time to release it and give it the ability to thrive more than big enough to handle the sun we'll remove the shade cloth off these trees so that uh, they'll do better because that sun on these waking them up uh, early spring is going to be a benefit to them they'll, they'll start to really really grow you notice this right here is the debris of all the leaves that fell down there which I didn't bother over the winter kind of help insulate the ground a little bit but for now, we're going to get rid of that. That's an arbor. That'll harbor insects uh, up against the tree. And I don't want that. I'll pull that back a little bit. And I used burlap. And you can tell the burlap had been used for a good amount of time to where it's actually decaying. Got a burn pit over there, throw this burlap in there. Ain't no use to me anymore. Actually, that tree has gotten to the point where I don't really need a fence around it, but because we're getting into winter or uh, spring, critters will start waking up, groundhogs incidentally, and they will nip on them. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and <clears throat> put the fence over top of it and protect it a little longer by the end of the year uh, I would think that it'll be okay to uncover because I'll have more growth involved Groundhogs like to nip on the little seedlings like this or saplings For some odd reason and then just walk away. They're not eating it, but they like to nip it So we'll put the fence around it And I'll get this out of the way Sunlight You'll get better fruit production if the tree is in full sun. Some sunlight is good for it. They will live in the shade. They're an understory tree. But you get better return from the pawpaw if it's been allowed to set out into the sun. Uh, when it gets bigger, 
uh, it, it, they're more willing to bear their fruit, whereas down in the woods, you won't get as much fruit with shade. Now uh, this tree right here, I'd say in another three years, it should be big enough by then to produce fruit. But until then, I'm gonna continue to try and take care of it the best I can. KFU's Benson, cultivar put out by Kentucky State. Well anyways, my name's Jim. If you like what you see, subscribe. Don't forget to click on that bell for any notifications. Any comments or questions that you may have, I welcome. Y'all have a God-blessed day.